Um, hello guys, um, today I'm working on a Nissan Pathfinder to remove the intake manifold. It's just a nice sunny day today, especially here in Victoria. We don't get the days like this, so try to enjoy as much as possible. Anyway, let's get to the work. So, first of all, I would like to thank you all the people who subscribe to my channel to motivate me put, to put more and more videos. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so to get more and more updates. All right, let's start it. So today um, I'm working on a Nissan Pathfinder. So what we, what I'm going to do on this today is I'm going to remove the intake manifold because one of um, the coil is not firing properly and got an engine light on and then car's running quite rough. All right, so stick to the end of the video to get a proper view of how you can remove the intake manifold on these cars. So let's get started. All right, so that's a good thing about a Japanese car is that we don't need so many tools to do work or any kind of work. They have, like, if you have literally 17, 14, 10, and 12, you can save pretty much half of the engine up. All right, all right, so let's get started. So now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to remove the air intake. So to remove the air intake, is, there is an airflow sensor on this side which we're going to disconnect. Now we're going to take the cover off. Um, this under the cover, this is this part, the front part is connected to the intake manifold and they are being held on by two bolts, 10 mil. So first of all we're going to remove this cover and then we're going to take two bolts out and then we're gonna start the process to remove the air intake so one of these is already missing so this one has one right, let's get started and make sure you have something to put your you know, nuts and bolts for example a magnetic tray or any bow from your home so anything so you don't want to drop bolts and nuts and then then you have to lift the whole car up to search for one. All right, let's get started. All right, so this thing just lift up. They have those rubber holding the cover onto. So we'll take this one off, put it on the side. Alright, so now we're gonna disconnect the airflow sensor right here. That's off. And we're gonna lose these clamps with a flathead screwdriver. Number two, that is loose. Gonna remove the breather hose from the rocket cover. Okay, that's off. Now the next step is got quite a few missing bolts. Anyway, they're supposed to have two, but you got one. So I'm gonna remove the 10 mil. Goes in the magnetic tray. So now this particular model could be a little bit of extra hoses to remove because it's a dual fuel, and when I say dual fuel, is a petrol and also have a LPG installed in it. So there are a few other lines or connector for uh, to remove the hoses for LPG, but majority of of the process is exactly the same. All right, so we're gonna unclip the air box I'll lift this up slide it out gently 
I'm gonna put it on the side. Don't drop it because it has an airflow sensor. Okay, that's off. And now they. So now <clears throat> we're gonna remove because uh, there are a few coolant hoses going into the throttle body. There's one here, one inlet, and one outlet. So if we don't want to remove those coolant hoses, because if we do, you're gonna lose a bit of coolant, and there are chances that the air can get trapped in the system. So what I'm gonna do here, instead of removing those coolant hoses, I'm gonna disconnect and remove the whole throttle body and put it just lift, let it hang here like that. So to remove the throttle body, there are two bolts, Allen key one on the top. There's a connector here for the throttle body and two on the bottom. So I have also removed the small air intake, the part of the small air, the part of the air intake here. So just to get to the bolts easy. Uh, so let's try. Okay, that fits in perfect. So that one is number five. I'm going to lose them all first. So at this stage, I haven't disconnected any connector. So they're all how they're supposed to be. And you don't need to worry about because they're all the same size as well, the same length. All right, so first is out. Second one. That's the third one now. Okay, so once you remove the throttle body, I will say you should clean this area. It's quite dirty and oily in here. So, so later I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean the throttle body as well before I put it in, and I'm gonna clean everything here. Alright, so next I'm going to remove this hose that goes here, there's a breather hose, it's just a clamp, take the clamp out, just twist the hose a little bit to lose it, sometimes they get sticky as well, that comes off, nice and easy, once you have that removed, then the next process is there are two 12 mil bolts holding the throttle body on the side. I'll try to show you guys. Oh, so it's quite sunny today. Let's see. So, as you can see, there's one here and there's one right underneath the manifold. So, I'm gonna take the, the both of them out.
first one. That's the second one off. Now there's a, a breather hose right at the back. This one here, gonna disconnect this. All right, so breather hose is off. There's another hose which is right there. This one here is just just on the clamp, so just slide it out. So next is. As you can see, there's a 12 mil here. I'm gonna take that one out. This is put it on the side to remove the bolts and nuts that hold the intake manual in place. Now the sensor, I'm going to disconnect the sensor, which is right here, it's the side disk it was. Now <clears throat> you can see there are these injectors, these are the LPG injectors, that's only the difference is going to be yoke if you don't have the LPG installed. So push this on the side, I'm going to remove gas lines here, so one, two and three gas lines, so we can slide it on the side and then we're going to take the manifold out all right so as you can see i have removed uh, the gas lines from the gas injectors now the next there is a breather hose which is connected at the back of the manifold right here so we're going to remove that breather hose once we have the breather hose removed then we're going to start taking the nuts and bolts that holding the manifold All right so i have removed the breather hose right here is out of the way now i'm gonna remove the nuts and bolts that's holding the manifold in place so this is one bolt here and there are two nuts, so you can see that, and the right here at the right here at the back. And there's a bolt on the back of the manifold, which is quite hard to see. Um, also, <clears throat> I also removed that bracket, which is just goes right here like this. So now, just by hold held on by two 10 mils, I'm gonna put it on the side so you can easily get now get to the bolts which is right at the back so that is not this one here there's one here bolt that's at the front is a bolt nut and bolt all right so I have removed all the nuts and bolts so is as you can see there's one there the two nut and rest of them are bolts so it's right here at the back hard to see but it's right there there's one right on the bottom there at the back all the nuts are off so now once you have that there's just need to wiggle a little bit and lift the manifold up Here we go, the manifold is out. All right, this is how you remove the intake manifold on a Nissan Pathfinder. So make sure now the manifold is removed, everything is open. Make sure you don't drop anything in there, otherwise it's gonna be a lot more drama. All right, so, so that's how you remove it so just you know maybe a couple of reasons i'm doing the coil so this one of one of the ignition coil underneath the manifold is buggered so i'm doing this and that's why i have to remove it but anyway 
Uh, thank you very much for guys to watching my video and if you if I hope this is video is helpful for you to remove the intake manifold if you do please subscribe to my channel to keep me motivated thanks for watching